When spooks and ghouls come this night, better be ready for a fright. Sometimes seeing isn't always believing, so listen closely for the events of the evening. Good evening, Brenham. Hope you're doing well on this spooky and scary evening. Let's get into the news. Dr. Hopkins ha has sadly not yet been found. Jim, Jim Beans, replacement doctor until he gets back, has so far denied any involvement with anything that might have happened to Dr. Hopkins. He specifically said, Stop calling me. Your checkup's not for five days. And hung up the phone. Hopefully, we will find Dr. Hopkins soon, listeners. Hopefully, we will find him soon. Police Chief McDougall has asked me to ask you a question, listeners. Has anyone seen the masked figures wandering up and down the streets? They seem to be focused around the neighborhood known as the Hollows. Nobody knows why the neighborhood is known as that, but the masked people are going to the hollows. So, if you were in that neighborhood, then maybe you could call in and tell us if you have seen any masked figures. We have been looking over the submissions you have sent us to us for a new student assistant, and I must say, there were a lot of them. I didn't even know that the, this many of you liked radio so much. Props to you. However, we can only get one person in the studio, but I think I picked the best submission. Ahem. Hi, I'm a student assistant at the Henner Public Ri Library, which closed down recently. You remember that, right? Right. So, anyways, I want to keep learning. I'm trying to become a detective one day, so I think being the man on the scene would make me learn something. Sincerely hoping for this job, James Baxter. Thank you, James Baxter. You are going to be our new student assistant. Another update now on the masked figures in the hollows. They are apparently going towards the water tower and generator complex. Police Chief McDougall has already ordered the hollows to be cleared out. He also says that these masked figures could have something to do with the recent disappearance of Dr. Hopkins. Uh, hang on, I've got to call somebody. Um, let's go to commercial. The Grand Parade. People from Westcott Hills, Howling Peaks, and Mountain Heights will all be there. You should too. It's going to have some prizes for the best patriotic costume, best Canadian impression, and best cheese. We're also going to go into the history of the towns with a gemology booth. Is that how you say that? Genealogy. Ah, that's, that's more like it. Or genealogy. That's, that's better. It's going to be a tent where you can see where your family came from. Perhaps you are a long-lost cousin of Doug, or Jack, or Cat, or Henner. Hey, anything's possible. So come down, down to the Grand Parade. We don't have a date because then there's a chance that we'll be late bringing you the parade. Trust me, you'll know when it is. Um, I'm back from phoning Jim Bean. His statement is, and I quote, These masked figures are the worst thing to happen since me giving out my home phone number to try and calm down the paranoid pa public. Please stop phoning me, Carson. I am not the weasel you are looking for. So, that was an official statement from Jim Bean on the masked figures. Thanks, Jim. Breaking news, listeners. 
The masked figures have made it to the water tower and the generator complex. They are now tugging on the wires. Police Chief McDougal has started on the new police program to get people to leave, mainly saying rude things like, Your masks look like they were created 50 years ago, and Hey you, your unseeable face is stupid. These masked figures have not yet responded. We'll have more on this in a moment, but first, let's go to Music Spotlight. The masked men have left. We think so, anyways. There was a miniature blackout after they cut the line to the power of the entire west side of the city, and then when the lights got turned on, they were gone. What were they? A little Halloween magic gone wrong? A strange hallucination which happened to line up with a freak power surge? Are they connected in some way to Dr. Hopkins' mysterious disappearance? Who knows? I don't. I may seem like I know, but I don't know who these masked, probable men and women were, or what they were trying to do. But something about this all makes me feel uneasy, listeners. The protesters, Dr. Hopkins' mysterious disappearance, the Grand Parade coming up soon. Oh, I almost forgot. The Grand Parade is coming up soon, so grab your tickets. Still don't have a date, but if you want some extra business, please go down to the front desk at C uh, the fun desk at City Hall and say that you want to set up a booth at the Grand Parade, and they'll let you set up a booth. So yes. That was supposed to be read before Music Spotlight, but with all this masked hollows excitement, I completely forgot. This was an update on the Grand Parade. Now, we have reached the end of our broadcast. Thank you for everything, listeners. Thank you for listening to the events of the evening.